One of the groups you can create allows the students to self-enroll. These types of groups can be used to allow students to choose their own teammates, or it could be used to allow the students to choose a specific topic for a research paper without having all students choose the same one. There are many other types of situations that self-enrollment could uh, would be useful. This tutorial will show you how to create these types of groups and then show you how the students enroll themselves into the groups. To create these type of self-enrollment groups, you click on the Communicate tab on the nav bar, click on Groups. Click the New Category button, and you're going to give the category a name. Let's call this Research Topics. A description could be useful if you want. In the Enrollment Type drop-down list, there are three types of self-enrollment groups that you can create. Groups of number, that means how many students I want in that self-enrollment group. You should also know that once that number of students is met, so let's say you want to put three students into a group, then that means that the students can no longer enroll in that group and they'd have to choose a different one. So it's kind of a first come, first serve. The second one is just a number of groups. So if I want to say I want to put have four groups, I would then choose that number of groups and then the students would then fill up those groups and there's no real number limit on those groups. The last one I think is the most interesting one which is I can say the number of groups and how many students I want in that group. So let's say I want three students per group and I'm going to give the students, I'm going to have six groups. Now, of course, you have to keep in mind how many students you have. This would be 18, so if you had more than 18 students, you'd obviously want to change this. So maybe I would want to have five here. I'm not going to go through the optional uh, settings here, but you can set up a Dropbox um, or a, a group Dropbox or a group discussion topic area, and you should review the tutorials on how you create those. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now what this will do is it will create the research, the research topics category and then generically name the groups. Obviously you want to have um, a more specific name for the group. So to edit the group name, you click on the name of the group, you give the group a name, so maybe this is called Oceans, and then you click Save. The interesting thing is, is then you repeat the process here. But the process happens is that each time you do that, you have to click on the category again, and now click on the next group, and then change it to Rainforest. And repeat the process until you have all the names for that particular group. In the next tutorial, you're going to see how students enroll into those groups.